O-M-G. I have a mashup of an Asian crystal jelly treat and a 90s throwback. A Kohakuto ring pop. Mm. Something that I always liked about these Asian treats growing up is that they are mild, sweet, crunchy on the outside, and soft jelly on the inside. After I found these molds, I thought it'd be so exciting to attempt these in a ring pop format. Kohakatu translates to amber sugar, but I'm sharing different colors today. In Thailand, these desserts are called kanupun grok. Traditionally, this candy doesn't include a flavoring, so I wanted to make sure we still get that crystal texture. And that comes from the right combination of three things, agar agar, sugar, and liquid. I'm more and more frequently seeing agar agar offered in the gelatin and jello sections at the store. I truly prefer the silky agar agar on the left. Of the agar that I've tested, Telephone works the best. It's actually the brand of agar agar my mom would use in Asian desserts as I was growing up. I'll share a link in the description. The packaging is amazingly awesome. Look at this lady. Ring, ring, ring. Hello. I'll share the recipe at the end of the video. I tested lots of liquids to ensure we still get that crystallized outer texture with this process. And so, using flavored sparkling water like Spindrift, LaCroix, Talking Rain, Flat Water, or even Vitamin Water Zero work great. One thing about the Vitamin Water is that it loses color when cooking. Pour the liquid in agar agar into a pan over medium high heat to dissolve the powder. Stir constantly for about five to six minutes until completely dissolved. Make sure the spatula is touching the bottom of the pot when stirring so the mixture doesn't burn. Questions that might come up during this process. Can I replace sugar with alternatives like maple syrup or honey? This changes the texture because the sugar helps crystallize the candy. Can I replace the agar agar with gelatin? I didn't try this, but I imagine this changes the texture. The mixture of the sugar and agar agar cause a crystallization and proper texture, both on the inside and the outside. Then add the sugar until completely dissolved. This takes anywhere from five to six minutes. You'll see it starts to get viscous. Remember not to look away because sugar can burn. Remove from heat. I have a pouring thing here on my pot, but it's easier for me to pour it from a measuring glass. It gives me more control. For the ring pops. I just follow the instructions, fill to the line, and then add the ring. It's totally okay to overfill it by a little bit. I found that if you follow the timing of this recipe, there's no other prep to get these four mats and molds ready. For the watermelon tourmaline, I pour one color, refrigerate for 15 minutes, pour the second color, place in fridge to let set. Even before you put in the fridge, you will start to see the mixture firming. Let's sit overnight, then take out of the fridge to pop out. If you do dry them outside, I don't, I dry them in my kitchen, be sure to cover the sweets with a net to protect them from any candy eating critters. Something else I learned in this process is that when you set these out on a tray to dry, make sure they're about an inch apart so that air can circulate and dry them out quicker. I set them about half an inch apart and they took a little longer to dry. Flip it day two, and then flip it day four. So pretty. You can tell when something is completely dry when there are no sticky or tacky spots. By the way, room temperature here is 67 degrees Fahrenheit. This mold makes it really easy to pop out of the ring popsicle mold. Random, but not random. One, you can eat as soon as it sets. It's soft. If you use soda water with flavor, the flavor is subtle. And it's also tacky, which is kind of fun. Two, you can eat the jelly frozen, but it isn't really the traditional way it's consumed, but it tastes good. Three, the traditional way. The outside will crystallize and the inside will be nice and jelly-like. 
side note. I haven't used a dehydrator, but from what I understand, for these treats, you don't ever want to heat them above 100 degrees Fahrenheit. I think that especially applies for the popsicle mold. If you want color, but something natural, then Color Kitchen's natural powdered coloring works great. Some really tiny clumps remain in the mix, but I think that's okay because crystals sometimes have inclusions. Liquid, dry, and gel food coloring all quick. Don't use too much, a little goes a long way, it's easier to add than take away. I'm going to show you how to make these gemstone formats in next week's video. I think these treats are pretty photogenic. Treat success! Thank you for watching. I hope you have a stellar week and see you next Saturday. Bye!